Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We are going to talk about XRP. And I got to start with this. Critic says he never wanted to long and hold XRP, but here we are. And now all of a sudden, he sees value in XRP. Crypto Condom believes that the conclusion of this lawsuit will swiftly pave the way for at least four developments that could significantly impact XRP's price, making it a valuable asset to hold. So he talks about the money transmitter license, which I see a lot of value in that for Ripple and XRP. He also talks about the Ripple versus SEC case still holding down the price of XRP to some point. And I think he's right about that as well. Because right now, the institutions, they're eager to use XRP, but that case is still holding them back. Then he goes on to mention the XRP ETF. Me personally, I don't think we need an ETF for XRP. It will run on its own utility. And the last thing he mentions is the IPO. That, I do believe, will bring value to XRP. But you know, people, they buy XRP and they don't see the value in it because the price tends to go sideways for long periods of time. But once you start to learn about XRP, realize what XRP is built to do, all of a sudden, you are patient to hold this into the future. Because you know at some point in the future, XRP is going to show its full potential. And when it does, a lot of people in crypto are going to get very rich when that happens. And we are on the verge of that happening already. Now, this comes from Black Swan Capitalist. I don't need headlines or confirmations to recognize that BlackRock, the largest asset manager globally, is leading in the best performing digital asset, XRP. Larry Fink has validated all my speculation in detail without needing to say a word. You know what BlackRock is doing? They're getting the normies in the crypto through Bitcoin. But BlackRock is here for utility. Here's BlackRock describing Rip Ripple's distributed ledger network. Larry Fink doesn't have to say XRP for you to piece the clues together. If all the world's assets are being tokenized using DLT, it must be scalable and liquid enough to meet institutional demand. That's XRP. Take a listen to Larry Fink right here. This technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. And here's the way I look at it. Those Bitcoin ETFs, they will also become tokenized on the XRP ledger. And, you know, when you're moving value of tokenized assets, you still need a bridge. XRP will be that bridge. TerraPay, mobile digital wallets using SWIFT. Payments infrastructure company TerraPay has announced that financial institutions can now send money directly to over 2.1 billion mobile wallets worldwide using their existing SWIFT connectivity. Ripple partner TerraPay acquired by Investor Group. So you know they're utilizing that RippleNet technology still, and they're already tying it in with SWIFT more and more all the time. 
these two bullish indicators foresee XRP rocket rally to $128. Every single day, there is someone telling you XRP is going to three digits. Yet there's so many doubters out there every single day at the same time. XRP recently experienced a price increase. The technical indicator suggests the potential for a significant upward trend, specifically the Bollinger bandwidth and Arun indicators are exhibiting signals historically associated with substantial XRP price rallies. The BBW measures market volatility. An extremely low BBW like the one XRP is currently experiencing is the lowest in its history often precedes a period of high volatility and price movement. Then they go on to tell you how it gets to $128. But we see this every single day, yet so many people are still doubting that it's going to happen. This comes from Tom Emmer. Many people are concerned that Kamala Harris would appoint Elizabeth Warren or Gary Gensler to be her Treasury Secretary. Their mission to upend free markets, innovation, and global competitiveness would destroy our financial system. We cannot let that happen. You know, what's going on with the current administration is we are on the path to the Great Reset. But yet people still don't realize that. Part of the Great Reset is wiping out the middle class. And that's what they're trying to do all the time. Plus, they have to bring down the current financial system. Here's Tom Emmer telling you about AI, the fourth and fifth industrial revolution. Artificial intelligence and digital assets are leading us towards a powerful global digital economy. As AI continues to be integrated into our lives, blockchain technology will play an important role in ensuring that AI data is authentic, immutable, traceable, and transparent. You know what blockchain is working on this right now? Casper. They are merging blockchain and AI together. They're also keeping AI in check along the way. But take a listen to what Tom Emmer says here. Karuna Murthy, I said it right. Uh, you have had a long and very impressive career in machine learning and artificial intelligence. Just to get us started, I have a quick yes or no question. Have you contemplated any potential intersections between AI and digital assets? Yes. Because they know the fourth and fifth industrial revolutions are merging together. Crypto is a significant role in the fourth industrial revolution. This comes from Smoke. As a result, we believe that the crypto asset class is often motivated by a desire to update and improve legacy systems. And moving money faster, cheaper, and secure is also part of the fourth industrial revolution, improving the past. And that's what's going on right now. And if you position yourself right, you can easily, easily get financial freedom from this but you got to stop listening to those people that are always going to be calling the top because guess what you're going to sell too soon and you are soon going to regret it we are going to look at so many things once xrp takes off we're going to look at real world events that are playing out at the same time we're going to look at if utility is driving the price of xrp at the same time this way it's going to be easier to know whether or not you should sell your XRP at different price points. A lot of people, they just care about being the one that called the top. But you got to factor in so many other things. Kamala Harris staff have reached out to Mark Cuban with questions about crypto. The feedback I'm getting is that she will be far more open to business, says Cuban. But why did she call Mark Cuban? Why didn't she call, you know, Brad Garlinghouse or Danelle Dixon from over there at Stellar? Why did she call Mark Cuban? I'm sure other people could have gave her a better rundown 
on what crypto is and where crypto is going and how crypto innovation can push the United States ahead of some of its competitors. You know, right now, what's going on in Washington is everybody wants to know what crypto is all about so they could have talking points on the mainstream media news. Mt. Gox repayments remain a major bearish factor for Bitcoin. So a lot of people are going to be selling off the Bitcoin that they're getting back now after like 10 years. And that could play a major role in how long it takes for us to get to alt season. Because we're going to see another dip in Bitcoin. I'm sure it's going to happen most likely over this coming weekend, if not sooner. But, you know, you already know this is coming. And there's no reason to bitch and complain about it. You just sit back, ride it out, and wait for what comes next. Because we are going to experience an old season. It is coming. And, you know, now's not the time to lose faith in that. XRP is going to have a major run-up. You want to be holding when that happens. And that's why I stress certain things on this channel every single day. Because I want to cross the finish line with all of you. I want to get you there. I want you to make a shit ton of money off of your crypto. But you can't be sitting there saying, Oh, look at the market dipping again. Maybe I should sell now and try to buy back at a cheaper price. Because a lot of times, that doesn't play out the way you think. And, you know, I see other people saying, maybe I should shift my XRP into this over here because it's pumping right now. And you're buying halfway up a green candle on that cryptocurrency. And maybe you make a little bit of gains and then jump back into XRP. But now XRP is at a higher price than where you thought it would be. You see what I'm saying? People make all kinds of decisions because they watch the chart all day. If you really want to know what's going to happen, keep an eye on the DXY and the Bitcoin dominance chart because that will tell a better story. Because if you see Bitcoin starting to move up and the dominance is moving down at the same time, we are going into alt season. And that's what's going to come next. And, you know, I pointed out in this video how politics also play a very big role in crypto all of a sudden. It's good to keep an eye on real-world events. This way you have a better understanding on what the market's going to look like every day. Because if you see some kind of crisis in the world, you could bet it's going to play a factor on the chart. I showed you that multiple times in the past. And that's why I said when XRP finally does take off, we're also going to keep an eye on real world events at the same time. We're going to look at all aspects of XRP is what I'm telling you. But, you know, until it does happen, you got to stay patient, stay positive so we can get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.